Things sure have changed here at Tolo. Would you like an update on those changes so your Bonaire Shore Diamond experience will be easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Liz and Kevin here. We're on the northern end of Bonaire at the dive site Tolo, which of course is one of the best dive sites on the island. But let me tell you what a difference two years makes. Uh, we couldn't make it back here because of the pandemic in 2020, but the dive site really has changed at least the entry and the exit. And we're gonna show you those changes here in this short little video, just a quick update. And Liz will show you the new entry and exit. So let's jump right in, get started and take a look at it. Okay, folks, if you watched my previous video on Tolo, or if you've been diving here for years, you'll know that for decades, the entry to Tolo down to the shore has been this set of primitive steps. And you'll notice there aren't near as many rocks there anymore. This is no longer the entry. So things have changed. Over the past two years, there has been an enormous amount of coral rubble washed up on shore here. So it's a much easier entry. And there's a new entry point that's actually marked right here. There's a yellow rock but you'll see there's a very short step down onto core rubble, a lot more core rubble than there used to be, and it does shift under your feet. So keep that in mind. Liz is gonna show you how to navigate this entry using those walking sticks. But walk straight in or at a sideways down the slope into the water. Another nice thing is once you get into the water, those grooves and ruts that used to be there, there are any anymore. There are some, but not near as many as there used to be. Then you get to a nice hard packed sand. There's still some rocks you need to watch out for, but typically once you get uh, to any bluish colored water, even light blue, you can put your fins on and kick out. So a much easier entry. The dive site itself is still phenomenal. I'll tell you there's more fish life here uh, than I recall ever being here. Uh, the dive site is still, in my opinion, one of the best on the island. So easier entry, same great dive. What more could you want? But let's find Liz and have her demonstrate that exit. Here comes Liz. Yep, not as bad a step down as it used to be, but still some of the shifting rocks here. This is where you really need that walking stick. Kind of walk down sideways like Liz is doing to steady yourself with the stick. See where she is now, it's kind of flattening out. And now even though she's, it looks flat, you're probably still gonna need your walking stick because the rubble shifts under your feet. And it's not near as ruddy as it used to be uh, right where she is now. Big surf right now, typically, you're probably not gonna dive when it's like this. We did, it wasn't too bad, but it is a little cloudy there. Right where Liz is standing now, there's somewhat of a step down, it's not much just a little bit there and it's nice and sandy. She's gonna turn around now probably and come back or she might go a little bit further. But once you're where she is, you can definitely float, put your fins on, kick out to the dark blue and enjoy your dive. But just like getting in super easy, you'll come up at an angle or sidestep it up the rocks to the new entry exit. Um, obviously a little more weight when you have your gear on. Uh, we finished the dive. I wasn't going to make Liz put her gear back on to get it back in and out. But just like that folks, nice and easy. Come on down and dive Tolo. Well folks, that's it for Tolo. That's a quick update for you on those changes. Still come dive it. It's a phenomenal site. You're going to love it. But for Liz and me, that's it for us right now. We'll see you at the next dive site.